Hey guys, John here from eTrailer.com. Today we have our 2020 Audi Q7. We're gonna take a look at the Thule Upride Bike Rack. This is a roof mount bike rack that can accommodate a wide range of bikes. Wheel diameters from 20 to 29 inches, wheel bases of 48 inches, which is gonna be center axle to center axle, and then tire widths of up to three inches, as well as a weight capacity of 44 pounds for the bike. So a lot of applications out there, pretty much anything. And I really like that it is a wheel mount, so there's no frame contact. So that just increases the amount of bikes we can carry on here. We're not gonna have to worry about it touching the paint, or maybe we have a more sensitive frame like a carbon fiber frame. It's not making contact with that. To remove our bike, we will start off by removing the rear strap here. And get it out of the way. And then we will press this lever to release the pressure off of this rear cradle and then press this lever down to rotate the arm down. Now, we do want to be careful that we're grabbing hold of our bike while we're doing this. And then rotate the bike back and then lift it off your bike rack. With our bike removed, we do want to secure a few things down before we head down the road. So put our ratcheting strap back in place. And then we will fold this arm back. And if we pull out on this piece here, we can push this arm back in. And now we don't have to worry about the bike rack moving anywhere while we're heading down the road. When we go to install our bike, we'll go ahead and rotate this hook back towards the front of the bike rack. But I wanted to show you guys, right here there's a little window. And if we look closely, we can see different wheel diameter markings. So if you know you have a 26 inch wheel, we'll put the arm there. If we have a 29 inch wheel, we'll put it there and so on. The two places that ratchet on our wheels, we have the ratchet strap here and then this piece that comes up behind our wheel. One thing I really like about these is that normally you, know, you use your own force to pull down the straps or whatnot, but here we can install the strap and then we actually can click it to cinch it down. That's up here and up here. And cinch it down, make sure it's nice and secure. The Upride has two different ways that we can mount it to our roof rack system. So if we have a standard roof rack that doesn't have the T-slot system, there, there are clamps that we can use to install that clamp around the bars. However, with this roof rack, we do have the T-slots, the T-track. These handles, they actually thread down on top of the T-bolt. And so we'll tighten them or loosen them, get them, um, get them to the right place where they uh, keep our bike rack secured on the roof rack. And then we actually, on this one, we have the ability to add a lock core. So our bike rack can be locked to the roof rack then here at the rear, we have a cable lock that's integrated in. So we'll take this out, wrap it around the rear wheel of our bike and then secure it back into itself. It does come with a plastic cord just to keep this in place, but we can upgrade this and the handle up front that we looked at to metal lock cores. The roof rack we're using today is a Thule roof rack. And so if you are gonna be adding the metal lock cores for the bike rack, I also recommend matching them with lock cores for the roof rack. So that way we just have one key for the entire system. So the bike rack does come back about to where our antenna is. We still have plenty of room to open up our rear hatch. We don't have to worry about it making contact with our bike rack. So here's a closer look at how our bike rack is installed. We do have the two different options. The one is the clamp style, which basically comes up under the crossbar system and then secures up here. But with this roof rack, we have the T-slot. So we're able to use the T-bolts and then clamp it down using our handles. Just to give you an idea of how much height this is gonna add to our roof rack system, out here on the end, we're looking about three and a half inches. However, this is the cover, so I'm gonna measure on the other side of the bike rack, just on the crossbar. And that increases it to about three and a quarter inches. So if you add three and a quarter inches to your current roof rack system, 
that'll give you a good idea if you can keep this installed and still fit in like a garage or a low clearance area. And that's going to complete our look at the Thule Upride Roof Mount Bike Rack on our 2020 Audi Q7. Thanks for watching.